It's fun. Candid. Enlightening. Informative. The News Merchant Minute airs weekly at 11 a.m. on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Tune in. Hi everyone, I'm C.F. Scott Ali Canoes, PR and Communications Manager with today's Merchant Minute. And we're in the Western vicinity and I'm joined by Kyle Stubbs, sommelier and wine manager. And he's going to tell me <laughs> exactly where we are so the viewing public can know. Hi Kyle. Hi Lucy Yaska, thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here with us. We are um, in a little foyer area here inside Premier Crew. Um, um, and it's a pleasure to be here to speak with you um, on all things crystals and canoe. Um, but yeah, my, as mentioned, my name is Kyle Stubbs, Somalia and wine manager. And in traditional terms, Somalia was that person, nicely dressed, high-end restaurants, cufflinks, bow tie, and his job or responsibility was everything wine, conversation, experiences, telling stories, and so on and so, so forth. In today's world, a Somalia is a wine professional who brings that same story and context out of the restaurant or in the restaurant but to the consumer in any means, right? Um, so if we look at what I've been tasked with over the last eight months as we've been operating in, in the pandemic is how do we bring these learning edu edu um, opportunities that we had inside the hotels that we had with some of our retail partners to consumers in their front room? So I really like to say from our front room to your front room, um, you know, we've had five week uh, introductory wine classes, we call it the world of wine for the food and beverage professional, um, outstanding feedback. Um, but these are our waiters and waitresses, I don't use the word service because they are professionals, um, who raise their hand and say, hey, I want to get a little bit more information. I want to be able to sell the $500 bottles of wine with ease on a nightly basis. And for those folks who work inside the hotel industry, you know, a $500 bottle with an automatic 15%, you know, you sell one we call in sick for the next two or three <laughs> days kind of thing, right? Um, so that's, you know, what a Somalia is or how they're operating in today's society. Um, in, my, in my role as a wine manager at Bristol's, uh, it's literally to assist customers and clients with getting what it is that they need. So hotels are planning on reopening in the next three to four weeks. Again, looking for new wines, new products, new experiences, training opportunities, bringing down, you know, some of our partners, winemakers, um, psalms and master sommeliers to come and, again, provide experiences and, and educational opportunities kind of thing. So that's me <laughs> and my part in the bigger picture, which is Bristol Wines and Spirits. Mm -hmm. um, and since 2003, Bristol Wines and Spirits has been the leading purveyor of premium wines and spirits inside the country. Um, very strategically placed retail locations, well-trained um, professionals and uh, store managers and clerks, not only to sell you wine, right? Not only to say, hey, here's a fantastic bottle of 689, purchase two cases, but well-trained staff to point you in the right direction so you make an informed decision as a consumer kind of thing. And so we have, we have spent a lot of time to make certain that we have brought in professionals. Um, so I speak of myself on the wine side, but we have a couple of mixologists on the spirit side of things. Um, Bacardi does an awesome job with that. Kenneth Mackey is his name. But again, it's literally how do we not only be a sales team, but how do we holistically bring experiences around wines and spirits and non-alcoholic beverages. Um, so for us at Bristol's, we're excited. Unfortunately, we lost a couple of our stores in Abago to the storm last year. Um, but right now we have a, a extremely good partner in Abago, so we still have some representation in Abago. A fantastic store in Harbour Island, um, one inside Governor's Harbour. We are inside Exuma as well. And then we're here at Blake Road, Gladstone Road, uh, East Bay at the foot of the bridge, Paradise Island across the bridge, and then we're a nice store inside Southwest Plaza. So, Somalia, I feel fancy. I should have put on my, my Sunday's best, right? <laughs> but talk to me, you <laughs> talked about experiences. So talk to me how you guys, I guess, pivoted in COVID to bring those experiences because 
everybody's home. You can't have the usual experiences that we're used to. So how do we, how did you bring the experience home? So I love, I love that word pivot, right? And I think <laughs> those who are going to come out of this more successful and, and ready for what post COVID looks like are those who made that strategic pivot during this time. Um, and so we went virtually in, in, in a lot of things that we've done. So right now, as we speak, we're completing our warehouse sale that went um, completely virtual, right? You would have signed onto our website, created your order, made your payment, and we have a nice Bacardi tent on the outside, and so we do a little bit of curbside to, to finish off that transaction. Um, that's on the sales side of things. We're also going to um, come back with that same concept for our Christmas sale, right? So starting on the 12th, uh, up until the 24th is Christmas and then we'll extend our sparklings and our champagnes up until the 31st uh, but again on the website which is www.bristol.bs create an order at this time you'll be able to select which store you're going to, to collect and so the store will um, prepare your, your order and you curbside pick up your order kind of thing uh, and then on the educational side of things so right now my colleague Kenneth from Bacardi has a full slew of virtual training opportunities um, and he went a little bit more in detail as opposed to just mixology but for our friends inside the hotel industry how do we reopen with perfect execution right um, how do we um, perfect our communication skills internally as as um, employees as well as with our customer base and, and then he has also had some fun mixology virtual opportunities so i jumped in with him on a uh, Halloween mixology um, activation where they brought in a special uh, Bacardi superior just for Halloween glow in the dark kind of thing um, and he came and he gave you know just a very brief introduction and presentation on Bacardi superior um, its use in mix cocktails and then it was a challenge for everybody in the zone to mix a cocktail yeah. um, bring whatever elements explain it mm -hmm. um, garnish it take your picture send your recipe and um, they gave it a price. Nice. But of course, you know, in our eyes, in those settings, everybody is a, is a winner for yeah. participating, yeah. right? And so everybody would have walked away with something, whether it's a, a glass of salt, he gave everybody a complimentary bottle of spirit for their participation. Um, again, it was strategic in our move mm -hmm. digitally and an appreciation for these folks who said, hey, I'm gonna jump on board with you again and see how this goes. Um, guarantee they're going to do a lot more programming that way in the holiday season as well as in 2021 and then on the wine side of things we kicked off right in june with uh, may and june we did uh international rosé weekend mm. so we partnered with uh, rosé society and one or two others we had a full weekend of rosé tastings actually the highlight was chateau burn from provence france our supplier was actually in Provence, France, and he dialed in and conducted our tasting wow. for us. It was just super amazing. Yeah. We had a virtual opportunity with a high-end, we call it luxury iconic wine brand from Chile, Don Moclair. Again, it was a virtual opportunity. The only thing we required was the purchase of the bottle, right? Mm -hmm. And we dialed in with the award-winning winemaker from Chile, and he nice. conducted the tasting for us. Um, we've now in the middle of our third and final World of Wine seminar for the food and beverage, Bahamian food and beverage professional, five week course, talk, touching on all of the basics, wine styles, the composition of wine, how is it made, and then looking at wine regions, France, Italy, California, and the New World, and then uh, of course more specifically professional wine sales and service and food and wine pairing. Um, big names have jumped on board and taken advantage of it and received certificates. The service team at Albany, the service team at Old Fort Bay, and then the individuals who just signed up on their own and, and wanted to participate. Mm -hmm. And we're going to finish off the year with two awesome opportunities. And um, again, dialing into the, our network of professionals and bringing their experience and their information to our customer base for an elevated experience. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have taken the traditional wine taking and uh, tasting and move it to a virtual space, but there's a little bit more gained when somebody who is hands in and has skin in the game is yeah. who is leading this, this conversation. Yeah. And I, so I love to talk about wine, I love to drink it, I love to see Bahamians' yeah. um, expressions from it, mm -hmm. but I think we get a little bit more, myself included, when I have somebody who's on the ground in Chile right. who's leading this discussion, somebody who's on the ground inside Provence, France, leading this discussion. So I sit back and I be, become a student mm -hmm. in those sessions as well. Right. Uh, but we've made that and I'm guaranteeing you a lot more things are going to roll out. One more that I wanted to mention that 
um, this pivot has shifted us through and we're going to roll it out in December, but the full rollout comes in January and it's our wine society, right? So as a part of our wine society, you receive 15% discount on all of your wine purchases the entire year, right? You'll be able to participate in um, three programmings that we have, right? We call it advanced purchase. So our wineries and our suppliers always come to us and say, hey, here's a unique opportunity. Wine's available only at the winery. If you have any consumers who might be interested, we can put some aside for you. So every time we get that note, we pass it on to you and you let us know your interest. We just require that you pay 50% down so we can initiate that order. We do all the logistics, we get it here, and the balance is paid when you come to collect oh, your wine. Like Christmas gift, right? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Beyond that, we call it the wish list. Mm -hmm. A lot of Bahamians travel. You, know, you said you're just traveling and drinking some wines last month. Um, there's some wines that we might not be exposed to that you would have tried and you might want to see inside the market. And so we will go out and do the homework, we will bring out the bottles, and we will bring the society to get it to taste and get an, on your, an honest um, feedback on it, and then make the decision as to, are we going to add this to our portfolio, or are we going to put this in our advanced process list and give it the opportunity to say, here's a wine that we came across, an opportunity for us to bring in a couple of cases, let us know your interest. Beyond that is the wine subscription. I am excited about the wine <laughs> subscription because now I get to keep in contact with you every month, right? So we're going to do it for one month in December, but when we start in January, it's going to be bi bi-monthly. You sign up for the wine subscription and three categories, right? Bronze, silver, and gold. Um, for December, bronze will be two bottles of wine. It includes one sparkling, of course, holiday season. Um, silver is going to be five bottles of wine. Um, the two bottles in bronze plus um, two others and then we increase the quantity on one skew and then um, gold is going to be seven bottles of wine again we change the, sh the sparkling and then you get multiples of the other wines kind of thing and it comes with a booklet that explains to you the vintage of these wines all of the technical information if you're interested in it my personal tasting notes, I would have sat down, tasted, evaluated, and, and, and put my notes in there. And then on some food bearing suggestions, right? And then it's going to be a call to action. Send us a picture. Let us see <laughs> these exciting dishes that you're making. You know what? Publicly give us your feedback on this wine um, that you would have had. And so we're concentrating um, on the wine description in December on the sparkling wine. But when we move into uh, January and February, it's the wines that's not readily available inside our stores. It's the wines that the suppliers sent to us that we strategically say, well, we're gonna hold this only for the hotels, or we're only gonna put it inside Premier Group. These wines, we're gonna make available to our wine subscription. Um, nice. Yeah, so that's, nice. that's what's coming for us. So I see some lovely bottles here. Mm -hmm. you, are any of these on the wine subscription list? <laughs> <laughs> or you wanna tell me oh, what we have going oh, on oh, here? Oh. <laughs> so my colleague did an awesome job with this nice setup that she gave us. Unfortunately, none of them are on this, this subscription for uh, December, mm -hmm. but, and she brought us some magnums, <laughs> some large <laughs> bottles. But just to go around, what we have here, fantastic uh, Manuti. This is the highest end um, skew from Manuti, provincial style rosé wine. Love the bottle packaging, mm -hmm. just looks, it looks it's gorgeous. Ah, mm -hmm. Right? Um, but I love the, you know, the Provence Rosé is all about delicate treatment of red grapes and so that's how come we end up with this pink pale like color. Um, very nice floral notes, good minerality. That's that. I just want a glass of wine. It's for whatever reason, November. It's 95 degrees outside on any given day. I just want a nice glass or I'm eating a nice light salad, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, good minerality, good acidity. Those are the two things we like to have bring into the conversation about food friendly wines. Mm -hmm. Across here is a big 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 <laughs> i mean the duck on right um duck on merlot duck on has been you know the iconic name when it comes to merlot or to california um a few years ago there merlot was um the wine of the year right which is huge um i love them because merlot kind of took a hit as a skew i don't know if you would have seen or heard there's a documentary called sideways Mm. Girls tripped to Napa Valley, and for whatever reason, every time they came across Merlot, it was just a very bad experience. And that movie literally tanked Merlot. One house that really stood above that was Dacon. Um, they make fantastic Merlots. 
you know, very approachable on the palate. I love Merlots because especially the style driven with a lot of fruit, it can hang on the side of heavier meats um, or it's that good, you know, on the side of, you know, some pastas. Uh, but I mean, Duck One Merlot, it's, there's not a restaurant in the Bahamas that has a Merlot listed that doesn't have Duck One, mm -hmm. right? Laura and Perrier is probably, <laughs> For it's <laughs> it's for itself. I mean, champagne of champagnes. You know, mm -hmm. folks like to speak about other names, but for us, our prized house is Laurent Perrier. Love the intricacies that go into all of the champagne, but I think this, you know, with all of the clout of the other name brands, brings up the true essence, essence of what's happening in champagne. You know, traditional method, secondary fermentation in the bottle, a lot more characteristic and complexity on the on the palate. It's just awesome. And then we have a Bell Gloss Pinot Noir. Um, I think Pinot Noir for us in our climate, in our country, is that one red grape that we also get accustomed with. Even if it's not our taste profile, what we eat, Pinot Noir is, is awesome. If we're, if we're not seafood heavy, then it's all about chicken, right? Mm -hmm. I just spoke to a friend the other day and she's like, I, I just want to leave this house, let me go happen. The only thing in the freezer is chicken. I'm like, I get it. But Pinot Noir and chicken? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Talk about a wine that should be on the table Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. Been in a while. Nice. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's <laughs> that. So Kyle, you guys have pivoted. You've done a lot of things virtually. Where does Canoe fit into what you guys are now doing? Oh, it's all about convenience, <laughs> right? <laughs> and safety, right? And so the transfer of cards and the transfer of cash isn't as safe as it used to be pre-COVID kind of thing. So it gives us the ease of anybody who has money on their canoe app, on their canoe wallet, um, to stop by and, and facilitate that payment. We, I think, jumped on board and jumped on board early because we understand that a shift was coming, right? And right now, our success is being able to provide the convenience to the customer. And canoe coming on board greatly assists us with uh, not only providing that convenience, but pushing the consumer to understand the importance of that convenience. Um, I don't know, for the last five years, I just felt so much more better not having to travel with cash. And now literally there's alternative payment methods. So you don't need cash at all. Um, I think it provides us an opportunity to operate in a much more safer space again, but more importantly, highlighting the convenience that it provides to the customer. So you're in early, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So where do you see it going? Oh, expanding, right? Uh, uh, the only thing I want to say is, uh, if you're not in yet, then would, in. would you be not? <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, what are you waiting on? In all honesty, because um, as we get deeper and uh, and you, you see the facilitation from the government level, right? When we get in, we speak about the sand dollar and so on. So we understand we're being pushed into that. So, mm -hmm. as a business, if you're not in yet, then what are you honestly waiting on kind of thing. I can see the expansion. I can see you guys getting very intricate and the smaller nuances that you bring, again, providing the convenience for the customer and then fostering that mutual beneficial relationship between yourselves and the merchant. Anything else you want to share, Kyle? I mean, if you're drinking wine, you got to be Bristol Wines and Spirits, <laughs> right? Yeah. If you're drinking vodka, you got to be premium. Come and see us with Philandia and Grey Goose. Um, but most importantly, um, stay safe during this time. Um, you know, keep occupied. And um, when in doubt, come and visit us as Bristol. So we're providing awesome experiences and awesome lighting shows. Cheers to you, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, cheers to you. <laughs> it was a pleasure speaking with you. That was Kyle Stubbs, the sommelier and wine manager here at Bristol Wines and Spirits. And that concludes another Merchant Minute. Until next time, bye-bye.